goodbye. Welcome to the charge! I'm Sir Franklin, and we're taking to the field today with the next part in our Alan Wake playthrough series. It's been a minute since we did our last part. I just kept on finding scary games that I really wanted to try. They were kind of short one-offs, but we're back. Glad you're here. Let's ride. So, uh, I realize I just skipped the intro video. I think we had fallen off a cliff last time. I'm trying to remember, but it looks like Dr. Hartman was able to, um, rescue Good us, evening, or somebody Alan. rescued us. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. So, we're in his clinic. I wonder how long we've been here. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. We're vulnerable. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I, I like the cardigan. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. This way, Alan. Somebody in there. Nope. Hello. A pretty cool elevator. Looks haunted. Now, nice. Alan, from Single light bulb. Good. Experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand what? and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, what? your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop No you. way. There's got to be more to you it. Go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Oh yeah, we're drugged. It's all Great. in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained. Oh, that's a huge sundial. What? Maybe he's possessed by the darkness and he's lying to make us think we're crazy. But I'm not crazy. We're crazy. Or we're both crazy. At least we have friendship. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? That is a pretty cool view. Below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Ooh, and storm. It seems there's a storm coming. It's a nice I place. I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way... Follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. <sighs> There's a Every coffee thermos. Have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. I mean, he's making it's very sense. It's natural for you to think of me as your enemy. 
It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. <laughs> Let's go inside. All right. This is a pretty cool place, man. Oh, God. What? Oh, right. We were outside. Well, here's the entrance the to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. Uh, I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty You're damn gonna, wonderful, yeah. You're going to try and kill me later, aren't you? The darkness is going to possess you. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Emerson. Oh, that laugh. That's a cackle if I've ever heard one. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video... Bro, he wants to fight you. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. This guy does like to hear his own voice. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Oh, God, that dude followed us. Okay. Uh... I didn't read that. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Wait, these guys are getting... No. What a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. Oh, that's sad. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Interesting. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? This guy didn't really let Alan I'd talk like that to much. Bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being <laughs> crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. You tell him. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't Tom, we? Tom, you're all He's right, Tom. The farm. The Anderson Form, Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we need to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Gave him a rash? That's, that's rough, man. That is rough. My I wonder which one's Odin up. and which one's Tor. According to Hartman. I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. 
but there was fear too. About everything. Interesting. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Ah, right, everything's locked. What a beautiful lodge that we can't explore. But how rich do you have to be? I know it's a business, but how rich do you have to be to have life-size carvings, wooden carvings of bears? I've never fancied a bear my spirit animal, but I'd still have these in my house if I was rich. Because that is just cool. I guess it's classy, kind of depending on how you do it. I just think it's cool. Go in here? No, we can't. If you could have, like, an animal statue in your place, what animal would it be? Tell me that. I want to know. Staff. No? All right. Yeah, we can't really go many places. There's one of the thermoses. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Man. All right, I guess maybe we explore this further, because I know there's at least one thermos that we haven't gotten yet, and I would like to collect them, because I have a caffeine addiction. Wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should oh. be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once. All right. And the story will come true. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's another QR code. All right, let's see what this one is. I can't remember what the last one was because that was hot a minute ago. It leads to... All it leads to is a website that says... I don't know that old. Well, it's a I'm gift, and it just says constipation. Right. That looks could, painful. But I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Bird. I appreciate the immersion. Hawk. All right, so we got to go back to our room, which is all well and good. Okay, there's one thermos. That's that's not the one I saw earlier. The other one was on the other side. Maybe I get to it this way. Yeah, there's ours. Can I go in there? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh. We have paint. Why'd it let us in here? If there's nothing to grab. It wouldn't let us in other rooms. Alright, maybe we go in there later. It's a mystery. Alright, what about... Nice. Night Springs. We keep seeing that. Also appreciate it when a game doesn't do like a knockoff kind of a console or video game. It has the actual thing. So there's the 360. Nice to see. Random snacks. Oh, what is this? What is that? That looks like us and maybe a map that we're in. Interesting. Oh, that looks cool. They could they could keep me entertained easily if I was in here. Just throw something shiny in my room once a day. I'm good. Okay, we can't go out that way. All right, guess back to our room. Okay, we still can sprint, which is good. Wait, hold on. Okay, good, good, good. All right, boy, let's go. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Is it a panic attack? Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Be cool. Be calm. Be collected. 
even know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did you get a damn hammer? I don't know. My hammer's up. Here's a friendly call from the old witch. Witch. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? They'd already been in there. Are we? Uh, what was the one we couldn't go in? I don't remember. I guess it let us go in all of them. It's my store. I'm taking it. Ooh. And you script page very nice. Giving Barry the grand tour. Clearly proud of the place. Uh huh. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the mind. Did they kidnap Barry? Okay, it's downstairs that we need to go. That's fine. Hammer's way will have it the Sinclair was bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old the fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Destiny. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Come out and face I had to get to Hartman's first. office. He had taken all my piper. manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Yikes. I don't know if, you know, assaulting her was the right call. Also, you figure they'd maybe have another orderly there. There's another page. Oh, that is a cool painting. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days. Less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's... Interesting. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. Ooh, okay. I saw now, Alice's Wayne, name on one of them. Can you tell for me a about moment, Alan's I couldn't breathe that. Oh, that's sad. Here. It is so hard to tell what's truth here. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Uh -huh. Hartman had been playing me all along. Or we are that, that ill, unfortunately. Oh! Never mind, maybe Hartman is out to get him. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Harp. Oh, whoops, I kinda. These I kinda all the pages I have. fast forwarded it. <laughs> and more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie, and I'll shoot you in the face. Tell him, Alan. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Interesting. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. <laughs> Out of my way, dog. Oh, that's brutal. That's absolutely brutal what we did to him. Did he just smile? Oh. Okay, we need to grab the coffee. The thermos is the most important thing. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare... So Hartman did. He wanted him because he can. He can affect things around him. Ooh, we were getting gas lit. Gas lighted? Oh. Ow, ow. Oh, right to, right to. We only have a gun. 
Oh, all right. Oh, no rush. Yeah, I could have been better about how I approached this. Uh oh. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. I hey, look, I totally get it. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, 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 we don't want that. Can we get outside, maybe? Nope, there's darkness there, too. Upstairs, I'm guessing? Okay, we're at full health again. At least they gave us that, which is nice. Oh, there we go. The generator. Come on, come on. There we go. Nice, look at that. Oh, that is nice to see. After having inanimate objects kick the crap out of us, that's nice. Ow. Almost there. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna go this way. We have a flare. Nice. I don't remember how to use the flare. Is it L1, maybe? Uh oh Whoops. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, why can I not remember? It was R1. Okay. Sorry, bears. I did want you in my house. Mess. He knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe. Interesting. Okay. Ow! ow. You really want us out of here? Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, I thought it was going to kind of bust down the door or something. What am I supposed to be doing? Yep, yep. Alright, try and hit me. And we're gone. Like the wind. Oh, not that way. Almost there. Oh! Alright, that's my bad. Probably should have watched that a little better. Barry, you're gonna have to shine that flashlight so I can shoot some people, apparently. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al! Thank you. Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Oh crap, I forgot I actually have to... Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Yep, 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 we're gonna die. Because I'm getting sloppy. Oh! Oh, we got taken out! Alright, that was definitely my fault. But the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Give us some more ammo, Barry, though. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Thanks, bud. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! I know, I know, I know. Almost there. Almost there. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, that was a bad dodge. Oh, there's multiple objects. All right, you know what? Not worth it. We just need to run. But we need the thermos. Oh, it's all the way down there. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
That is not all the stuff that could hurt us, apparently. Alright, I actually need to be more careful. I'm gonna run out of batteries pretty soon if I keep doing that. I just want the thermos. I don't think we got all of them. Which is too bad. Nope, that's locked. Alright, so we need to go through... He said hedge maze. Is that... Is that through this gate? I guess so. And then, are those more batteries? Nice. Oh, beautiful. All right. I don't want this to pop off and hit us. Oh, and a checkpoint. Okay. I'm with you, bud. Uh, what was the trick? You stay on the right side, and then you can get out of any maze, right? Uh-oh. Well, good for me, I'm evil too. Okay. Not bad. Don't trust Emil. I don't know who Emil is. Okay, revolver ammo, more batteries. Oh, and look at us, we're set. We're just probably gonna have to dodge a little bit. Ah, it's alright. It is actually a little scary. Can you imagine being hunted in a maze like this? Is this a dead end? Yep. Oh, big guy, big guy, big guy! Uh-oh. Yep. How do they have that many big guys? Unless maybe the darkness kind of makes them get bigger. I don't know. Larger than life. Alright. What do we got? We got that way. We got this way. Both don't look great. But. Who's talking right? But yeah, give me that ammo. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and calm all day. Oh, those are birds. <laughs> Thought somebody was swinging right around the corner. Is that Hartman? You get three barrels in the nope. Oh, crap. Birds are messing up. Okay, okay. 
Oh, they still they still come after us. All right. Jeez, they messed us up. All right, I didn't think they'd be attacking that much. That's my fault. This is a really cool place, though. This is almost, um... Oh. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! There's a lot of them. Things are not getting easy. That's for sure. Wouldn't mind some more stuff. Oh, but hey, there's a light. That's fine. Oh, good, shoddy. And a manuscript page, what we got? knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but it's... Who was Mott? I cannot remember who Mott is, if we've met him before or not. It's like the darkness is twisting all of these guys. Um, and making them the worst, most violent, evil versions of themselves. Whoa! Yep. That's what I was worried about. Oh, that was cool. Violence, am I right? We don't have a lot of ammo though, so we actually have to be Gotta be tough one-handing that shotgun just when you're running around because you have to have the flashlight in the other hand. But a flare, well that would have been nice, you know, 20 seconds ago. Oh, yep, yep, yep. yep. Ah, I still didn't get out of the way. Sorry. Jeez. Can I go back to the light? Is it too is it too late? Just to top off on some health. It is. Alright. That's fine. You know, hey, I mean we're healing anyways. I wonder if when you pop a flare it heals you, since that's a lot of light. I didn't even think about that. I might have been doing it this whole time. And we're not trusting either of you. We're really having to burn through these batteries a lot more. Okay, there's a page. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Bear uh oh. Taken? They're called Taken? Maybe he mentioned that. Alright. I feel like I've missed some more thermoses. But there's a lot. Which is cool. But it's also tough because you really, you know, you really want to make sure that you, that you get everything. You want all the secrets and stuff. Meal made Tom do it. Oh, interesting. Made Tom do what? Right? Like the like the stuff, the bad stuff, or did he make something happen? Woo, buddy. Woo! Oh, that was close. 
Yep, 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 yep. Oh, look at our moves. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, rough. Wow. A little stressful. It's it's smart that like the light shuts off after you leave it or get to the next checkpoint because I would be abusing that constantly. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Is there a boss fight? And our thermos. Plenty of goodies. Okay. There's berry. Look at that, another manuscript page. We would have missed that. See, they're sneaky like that. They hide these. What do we got? Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down. Since Tom. In the proper direction, Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Oof. So Wake has a superpower. And it sounds like some other guys do too. Where they can write and create realities. That they can write the truth. I know. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Not the birds. There's at least one big guy, and there's some smaller guys. Oh, no. Wrong dodge. I did not do that right at all. Yep, 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 yep. I can't even... We're running and we're running. <laughs> that was tough. I didn't know we had the gate open already. Oh, that's terrifying. Is that our cutout? Amazing. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. <laughs> you know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad to see the darkness destroying all these places and hurting all these people, but it's also like it just manifests itself more in the Makes them horrible. We didn't see Hartman. That we're gonna see him later too. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This has happened, ah. Mary. Alice. They never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Okay, so we know where she is now. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's oh, a the lake. It's the not dark them. Presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. 
That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. Aww. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Barry, Andersons let's go. It, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, yikes. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's tough, man. God damn it, I'll talk to me. All right. Check I lost point. my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, we're not looking too hot either. All right. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Your cutout you is okay? fine. I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Uh, Al, there's something moving down here. Uh oh. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? <laughs> oh man. Gonna have Gotta to love find Barry. Your way to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. You got it, buddy. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! Secure the up. area. Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into uh. a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. More railroads and more sketchy bridges. Do we have our flashlight? Is what it is. At least we can dodge. I do, I really do like that mechanic in this. Alright, I guess we're gonna go this way. Ooh! Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, we need to get the light! We need to get the light! I can't see anything. And we're out of stamina. Ooh, Paige. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man. Ooh, creepy. All right, I guess we weren't really supposed to go this way. It was worth it for the page, though. I feel like out of everything, those are the most important collectibles. Oh, there's something. Oh, a thermos. We're going for it. Oh, bad call. Yep. That's my bad. I wanted the thermos. Woo! Okay, they've got some range. No! Okay. We're gonna keep going and just use our sprint as we can. The objects are more annoying than the people. I think the objects have killed us more than the people. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Oh, I don't have to. Okay. Thought I was having to, like, wind it or something. I guess that, and then... Turn on a light up here, maybe? I'm trying not to sprint the whole time. I really don't want to. Nice. Crap. 
I, uh, what do we got? Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the... Ooh! There'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the oh, gate. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one's easier. It was the one inside Hartman's, like, lodge that was difficult. Oh! Right, right, forgot to jump on the way back. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. Yep. Yep, yep. I guess Zane left these messages. Alright. So, I mean, we can kind of stun them, but we don't have any batteries or anything. Yep. Good to know. No, no. can't. Yeah, we're just gonna have to run. Ow. They all run really fast, and then you have to time your dodge. Oh, there's more. Oh, crap. Come on. Woo, buddy. Oh, screw you guys. That was rough. That generator. I thought we were supposed to turn that on because they had that right there. That was smart placement by the game because it made me want to go for it. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Uh -oh. Caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Interesting. Somebody been camping. Thermos. Where are we uh, putting all these thermoses? Nice, that's the heavy duty flashlight. Beautiful. Okay, is there anything over here? I know we picked up the thermos there. Alright, that's a pretty cool spot to camp. Hard to beat a lookout like that. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Ha ah, ha ha ha. Come on. There you go. Almost there. A little bit more. And... Again, if I don't have to focus and I just... You know, it takes a couple seconds. I'm gonna do that. I think that's just better. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. There was somebody definitely in the I light. Was that Zane? Of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. Ooh. He was the one. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow this. Interesting. Who'd been placing the pages on my path? We have flares. Very. Oh, they're wraps. Oh, I've got to be careful. Ah, dang it. Let's see that one. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Bro. Okay, I don't think there are any more. Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with... Whoa, so these two guys, these older guys, had fought this before. That is pretty cool. Hey, shotgun. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The taken or filled with darkness. I, yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that. Anything else in here? No. Guess that's it. They're really clever with how they incorporate the flashlight into the game. It is just as important, if not more important, than um, guns. Ow. Oh, look at that dodge. Beautiful. Oh, we're dangerous now. Uh, all right, don't step on that trap. Man, there are a lot of traps. You think you're being clever? You just kind of go off to the side. They still have them there for you. Uh, Man. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, no, not into the trap. Not into the trap, Alan. All right, I'll do this. Ah! Okay. Jeez. I probably shouldn't have been using all the ammo like I have been, but to me, better safe than sorry. Is that a trap or a cave? That is a trap. Got it. Oh, crap. Yep. There we go. That's a nice thing. You can't avoid a lot of combat. Uh, I know I've been fighting a lot, but I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Sure, sure. I've got what one shell left. Hello? Is this the cabin? Anybody just... here? No. Ah! Barry. Ah! Ah! No, Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! What, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No, no, I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. 
Yikes. Tracking ammo. Probably gonna need it. Nope, I'll spin up state. jail the other day i went to the farm again for the moonshine you know it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin my buddy danny i lost him Ooh. something's gone wrong with him it's not him like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. That's sad, man. Yikes. Poor fella. Now it's bright. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody uh -huh. in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. Dangled her in front of me to keep Oh! Oh, that was Danny. Danny, uh, Danny's a big boy. There have to be victims along the way. We are Danny's a little scary. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. The front the door was locked. I'll write my own escape into the story next. And the farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh, gosh. Sure, the area is clear. Ugh. All right, what do we got? Flare, flashbang. Oh, flashbang. Oh, very happy about the flashbang. Save that. I do want to check. Yep. Okay, we got a page. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more... I don't know who... Was Mott the orderly? The big guy that we had to fight? These always remind me of Shrek 2. What, you want me to go in this? Or are you saying that... Yeah, okay, it was to go down there. That's fine. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry is Barry. Ah, uh, that's... Hello? I mean, Barry popped the flurries. He seemed to have a good, uh, like he could work well under pressure. I don't know how good his survival instinct is, but, you know, when he was listening to um, the way he was doing pretty well. Whoops. Uh, we're going down to the farm, I guess. So what is that, a right turn? But I want to see what's up there. Or over here. We're going to see if this is a mistake. There's darkness here. Is that our breathing or is there somebody upstairs? Flashbangs! 
We don't have to go up there, but we're gonna. Oh. Alright. Nice and abandoned. Just how I like. The perfect amount of creepy. Without any of the danger. Cool. Now I want to see this place and then we'll get over to the farm. Again, I love that it's optional. This game is linear but with open areas, which I do appreciate. It's a good balance. And I think you get a lot of open world games now, and that's fun, but sometimes it is nice just to follow a good narrative, and that is something this game is excelling in, and I'm really liking it. For a lot of reasons, but that's one of them. It tells a good story, and it keeps you on pace. And there's really, there's not, there's not a lot of downtime. Ooh, hunting rifle, or do I want to stick with the shotgun? Probably would have more ammo if I switched to the hunt, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yo. What do you got? Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Pertaining to that, the uh, read that missing person's alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for it. Hello. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, you were a big boy, that's why. Alright. Good. Yep. Get to the truck. I love how when he starts to sprint, he does like this gorilla thing, like he's almost slapping the ground to start his run. He's like, ah! And now, go to the farm. Let's see if we can't find this stuff to fight the darkness. Can we get in this way, maybe? Can we drift? I already... Yeah, oh yeah, we can drift. We did that earlier. No! Not good. That's fine. I think... Oh, okay. Guess we'd already dealt with all you guys. Now it's just the big one. Goodbye. Is he not dead? Oh, this is kind of cool, though. good. I don't know if we needed to do that. Maybe the game just led us to feel good. But man, did it feel good. That was nice. Okay. Pretty good on everything right now. Wish we had a little bit more revolver ammo. Could be worse. Whoa! That took a lot. 
I wonder if our flashlight gets charged if we go under a light. I don't know why it would. No, it doesn't. All right, just health. Health and checkpoint, still pretty nice. Oh, wait, sorry, we gotta go. Ah, uh, it's giving us some opportunities. You know what? This time, I think we're just gonna go straight in. It was a firework. Oh, thermos. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, that's awesome. What? God damn. That's amazing. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Johnson. Shut up and shoot. Uh oh. Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Stop! Holy crap! I'm ready to get the stage lights on. Oh! Okay, I need to be more careful. I was way, so way too messy. To go it alone, Mr. Shut up and shoot! Oh, do we switch? They keep making us watch them. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Stop. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to get the stage lights on. The thermos. Yes. Here we go. Go faster. Go faster. It's like we're dancing. Oh, I did not know all you guys were there. Alright. He dancing. Oh, no! Why do you keep doing this to me? Do it for Barry, please, please, please! Ow. Y'all can stop throwing crap. Barry's having fun. He's just vibing right now. Really? Children of the Elder Gods! Oh, ho, ho! What a dodge! We got a big boy. Ow. Can't see. Yep. 
Nice. All right. Let's see if YouTube copyrights me for all that music going on during that fight scene. That was pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. All right, let's pick up whatever ammo's left. Nice. Not bad. Is there anything, like another one maybe? Is that it? That's fine if that was it. That was really good. All right. Right on, right on, right on. Let's see what's... Anything? No. That's all right. Yeah, that was really cool. I noticed that I don't think there was an option for me to turn off the music, so I'm gonna have to figure out if that's gonna be copyrighted or not. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even... Interesting. Yeah, that dude's been pissing off a lot of people and hey, shooting Al, at innocents. This way to the farm! Creepy. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's a cool setup to live there, though, I will say. See, bestseller? No reason to worry. Yeah. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left Amazing. it. Amazing. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Like we can climb up, that's bolted shut, so let's climb. I like that the flashlights are better. Am I supposed to jump that? I'm a little confused. Oh, I guess I was. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. <laughs> That's okay. I can just take him for granted. Barry, I, I, I will slap you. There. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? I thought so. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? This is pretty cool. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Yes, yes, yes. All right, TV, turn on, do your thing. Sleep. We no. Oh, spend this day oh our night spring. Man, somewhere to back memories. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Oh. Is this one of your episodes? Okay, so that's why it keeps showing it. Interesting. Maybe not. Join Mr. Jeff as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop. All right, there's another manuscript page. I thought it was just a glowing piece of metal. We got. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water. From oh. Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye oh, out. Oh, so Odin did. He cut his eye out like the, the like the god of Naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have... What? Oh, that's wild. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Then we should use it like a battering ram. Before we use that, let's check over here first. I was just been like man. Oh, 
Very cool. Let's see. Any in Texas? No. That's fine. Nice. Those tight corners are tough. Fast. Where is he? Oof. I don't even know if that was a named character. I think that was just some dude. Barry, where are you? Dude keeps running ahead and disappearing. Oh, they had dogs. Oh, no. Not poor puppies. Okay. Oh, a big boy. Forgetting they can throw things. Okay, almost there. Almost there. It's okay. From main com. Last guy. Cool. Ah, there's a truck. Can I get it from here? Okay, I guess we have to do that. Nice. Barry, how did you get over there when I'm having to do all this crap? We have five flashbangs. That is nice. All right, lead the way, Barry. Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. Oh, we're actually very high up. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. Uh, can I climb up there? Uh, no. Good kick, Alan. Be careful, Al! Thanks, bear. What a shotgun ammo. We don't even have the shotgun right now. I guess I just collect it. Whoa! I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? 
He was just hiding in the hay. All right. That's fine. And there's somebody behind here. No? Oh, well, what a nice change. Ooh, rusty ladder. Oh, there's something shiny up top. I have a heavy duty. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments Mulligan off their busy Thornton. schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you? Your boss is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Everybody seems pretty calm given all the destruction and death going on. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. Okay. It wasn't fair. Oh, cool. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned down geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. They had the goods. Duh. Nice, yeah, the revolver ammo would be nice. I also appreciate that if you tap the reload button faster, you reload faster. That was not that bad. Maybe it's because we have this heavy duty lantern now. Hard to say. So we can get some more ammo here. All the goodies. I do like to use the, the revolver first. I don't know why. I guess I'm just pretty comfortable with it. But the hunting rifle is pretty nice. I mean, two shots to take down a big guy. I do enjoy it. All right, let's get to the house. Valhalla. Very cool. These guys had style. You got to give it to them. Why not? I go under? What are... Uh... Oh, open the silo door for Barry. Whoops. My bad bear. Come to get you, bud. So we go in through there where the guy busted the door open. That makes some sense. You're okay, Al. Is somebody gonna come out through that? I get the feeling somebody is. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Not in there. All right. Hey, what's the holdup? Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. Flashing lights, jeez. Come on, Al, open the door already. Seriously, I don't like it in here. 
fair. I'm not twiddling my thumbs here, dude. Hey, let's go, man. Heavy. Ah! Interesting. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Right? At least Alan's kind of accepting that this is all just wild. I'm gonna. Come on, one more gig. Let's yep. do this thing. Oh, a chainsaw. I'm sure, that'll come into play later. Oh, God. Just talking about the actual guys. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Upstairs. Got that. Let me. Yep, that's what I wanted. I figured there'd be at least one thermos. Cool place, though. It's interesting how kind of nice the place looks. Wait, damn it. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Oh, there were two thermoses. Ah, tricky. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Talk? Alan, you gotta shred a little bit, my guy. Close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward Ooh. the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out. Oh, the mystery of the missing week! Right, right, right. No kidding. Those guys sound awesome. Nice. All right. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. More music. That's Again, hoping that that's not a copyright strike. Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. <laughs> Big stretch. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Interesting. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. <laughs> this is... Yeah. What the hell? Oh, and then the stuff that's in the moonshine. They're going to be able to see things. Because that they use the unfiltered water from the lake. It's all coming together. No, seriously, because I know we don't get along, but we're going to find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm going to stick by you. No matter what. Ever, Al. Sure. Like a brother. I'm a writer, god damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. You no, tell them, Alan. Couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. <laughs> what? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. Nice. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oh, I like their friendship. <laughs> Is, he <laughs> Is he sleeping with his eyes open? Oh, that's terrifying. I know some people do, but... A little scary. Oh, apparently Alan does too. Oh. Whoa. 
Damn it. Ooh, this is a long episode. Alice! Alice! Oh, we're floating. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's Weird. moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember uh -oh. being surprised Alice. to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remember thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Okay. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. This is crazy. It's pretty cool to get to see this from a different perspective. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice. <laughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Ooh, creepy. So that's the start of how we got manipulated to write the story the way that the darkness wanted. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You are foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. Ooh. All she wanted was to help you, right? Creepy. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Oh, Old hush. Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Ah. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story oh, will that's how she tricked him. And all will be well. How she tricked us. You and me. We're in this together. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Ooh, creepy. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a Jeez. novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought Crazy. I was saving Alice. It's all coming together. The cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. Nice. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. What? Oh, that is so cool. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. Wow. 
stole the skin of my wife a long time ago. She looks so old. That is absolutely crazy. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Uh-oh. Interesting. The in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Wow. That's a miracle that he survived that. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault. Oh, You're gonna pay gosh. for it. No, not that. Wow, that was a lot. It was a long episode, but we learned a lot and we made a lot of progress. And now it's all tied together. We've circled back. We understand where we went for that week that we were gone, how the darkness manipulated us, and how Thomas Zane is fitting into the picture. I still don't understand the diver suit. Maybe he was a diver. I think they mentioned that before. But that was pretty cool. And now we're starting to get more insight into how to beat the darkness and how we got here in the first place. That was pretty neat. I'm excited for whatever happens next. But I want to thank you for joining the charge today. I know it was a longer video, but I appreciate you so much if you stuck around to the end. And I can't wait till next time. If you're not already, please consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot and means the world to me. It's a great way to support the channel. I will see you on the next battle. Till then.